So today I'm going to be installing a TRD style grill on my 2006 Foam Runner. Uh, before I install it, I just want to get into a little bit of a backstory about these grills. There was a time when uh, you weren't able to get just buy a TRD style grill for a fourth gen 4Runner. So a lot of people, they would cut up a Tacoma TRD style grill and then kind of graft it together with the fourth gen 4Runner grill and cut everything up and uh, just kind of glue it all together. And I was thinking about doing that for a long time, but you know, it seemed like a lot of work. And one day I was on Facebook and there was a shop selling grills that were already fitted for the fourth gen and came like that molded. And then I saw a comment where someone said, you can get these on Alibaba. So I went and looked it up, gave the supplier, a, you know, an email and uh, yeah, I ordered it. They were super cheap, 130 bucks. And that's like way less work and way less money than buying a Tacoma TRD grill and then doing all that work to graft it together and try to make it look clean and you know trim it and you know it's just way too much work so yeah let's get on to the unboxing See if we got our lights. As you can see, there are a few imperfections on the grill from the molding. There's one right here. So I decided I'm gonna go ahead and uh, file this down right here. It's really bugging me. Here's some other issues that I've found with the moldings. Luckily it's on the back, you won't ever see it. But just something to be aware of if you're gonna be buying these. Same thing with the these Raptor lights, they all have these markings on the bottom, like, like scratches. But once again, you won't really see it, so whatever. Another place where I found a lot of imperfections were on the bottom of the letters. So hopefully you can see that the paint doesn't seem like it went all the way through. There's some masking issues. So, right there you can probably see. Luckily the tops look good. All right, so I'm gonna be testing out a coating on this grill. See how this uh, coating holds up on, on plastics. So I'm gonna do a test spot on the bottom just to see how it looks first to see if I like the finish. And if I like it, then I'm gonna just do the whole grill with the coating. So we'll give it a test spot right here at the bottom. First thing I'm gonna do is just uh, wipe it down. Got some 20% IPA wipe down with um, distilled water. Just gonna use this. This is the service prep. Wipe it down, make sure there's no oils, no dust on there. Lift up a little bit. I'm gonna make sure we get this completely dry before we apply the coating. All right, now we got a certain towel for the coating. Just gonna take a corner of it.
So here it is after the coating. Not too much of a difference, but I'm just hoping it'll add longevity to the, the look of the plastic. So turned out nice. I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole thing. All right, to remove the grill, you're gonna just need to take off this nut, this nut, this one, this one, this one, that one, and these two that are holding on the head latch. So next we'll have to transfer over this metal uh, bracket and all of these studs over to the new grill. So here it is, all the stuff stripped off of the grill. Essentially this old uh, trim, this metal bracket, um, all these studs, these two clips, and these bolts. But luckily, I'm not going to reuse these bolts. They're all rusted and destroyed. So luckily, the kit came with um, some new screws. So I'm going to use those instead. Yeah, so now I just got to put everything onto the new grill. Alright, next I took the black and red wire from the wire harness. I'm gonna try to stick it through the firewall right here. Alright, as you can see, I got the two wires through the firewall right here. So I'm just gonna feed them through. Alright, now that we got both of our wires through, I went ahead and stripped it a little bit because I'm gonna be folding it over a few times to put a terminal on it. This, this gauge wire is super thin and the terminal I have is uh, bigger, so. So positive, I'm gonna do an add a fuse. the add a fuse I'm gonna tap into this one right here ECU ignition so here's the add a fuse connected for the ground to the ground connect that here when I put back the panel so here's the wiring I'm wired in I try to tuck it up behind here so I want to be visible when you look through the grill so I got to snip that I ran it through under this uh, hood insulation 
and then ran it down this prop and then a shock and then through the firewall so that's all the wiring so another issue i ran into with installing this was i wasn't able to get my old trim piece back on but even if i was able to get it back on there is a huge gap all along the top and then especially right here in the edges so i might go rebuy that piece honestly i don't really notice it so i might just leave it but yeah here it is all installed so here it is with the ignition in the on position uh, the lights only come on when the ignition's on the on position and not acc so that's nice it won't come on when i'm just sitting in my car charging my phone or listening to music so it would be less draw on the on the battery overall I'm, I'm happy with the grill um if you have any questions uh leave them in the comments below and if you like the grill let me know too uh see you in the next one bye